and welcome to the Yukon Uber Champion Stakes Finals 2011, held here at the Chesford Grange Hotel in Kenilworth. Now, in just a few hours' time, a panel of three judges will choose their winner to go through to the Yukon Uber World Challenge in Florida. Last year's winner was Chinese crested champion Vanitonia Unwrapped, otherwise known as Nora. Now, let's go and meet some of this year's competitors. Okay, I'm now in the green room. This is just minutes before the Champion Stakes Finals are actually going to go ahead and all the dogs are going to go and parade into the ring. I'm joined by Michael Code with champion Pamplona Bring Me Sunshine, otherwise known as Eric. Now, Michael, you have been in this position before. Do you still get a little bit nervous? Yes, all the time. Yeah? I think the day you stop getting nervous, you don't do it properly. And how much preparation has gone in today with Eric's grooming? 24-7, never stops. Never stops. The groom every day. Do something to him every day, not necessarily groom, but there's something done every day. And it's just keeping him in top condition all through the year. It's coming to an end, thank goodness, but we're all a bit tired. And, and what makes the Champions States final so special for you? Well, it's lovely to compete, but it's also very nice to meet friends and see people that you don't normally have a chance to have a chat with at the shows. And um, it's a nice way to end the year off. Well, good luck, Michael. Thank and you very Eric. much. Thank you. I'm now joined by John Cullen, who is the owner of the very famous German Shepherd dog called Elmo. Um, he's come off the back of a few amazing wins this year, um, going into these Champion Stakes finals. Can you just tell us a little bit about them? Yes, he uh, is the first dog, our first German Shepherd to win the Crufts um, Pastoral Group for 40 years. Uh, he's the uh, first German Shepherd to get to the final at Crufts for 50 years. So, um, Also, he's this year's British Seeger. Um, and he's currently um, second in the pastoral group coming up to the end of the year. So that's where we are this year. And Steve Cox um, obviously has, the um, is the handler yeah. and has quite a smallish ring to play with, I suppose, because GSDs do yes. love to move out. Yeah, yeah. I think w we might struggle, but hopefully we'll, uh, we'll put in a performance that might help us. So we'll, we'll certainly try anyway. It's quite enjoyable just to be here. So, Absolutely. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. I'm now joined by Judy Humphreys, Managing Director of Yukon Uber. Thank you very much for joining this. It's such a special occasion, this. It's not your average dog show, is it, at the Champion Stakes Finals? No, and that's why we believe it's so special and so unique in, in the country, because we've got represented here 25 dogs from, you know, the, the best of the shows all around the country throughout the year. And so the champion that wins today really will be the creme de la creme. I'm joined by Lars Ottlieb, Head of Communications for the Middle East and Africa for Yukon Uber and IAMS. Now, thank you very much for joining us. Now, just tell us what brings you here all the way to Coventry for the Yukon Uber Champion Stakes Finals. It's a lovely place, it's a great team and it's a high profile event and we are always eager in Geneva to get good ideas from our markets. We then can uh, bring back uh, into the other regions and the other markets uh, for share and reapply. So I'm looking forward to a great event. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you here on behalf of Yukonuba to the 2011 final of the Champion Stakes. Stakes which have resulted in 25 outstanding dogs qualifying, competing today to see who will be the overall winner and who will represent the UK in Florida at the Yukonuba World Challenge in December later this year. The format of the competition is going to sound hideously complicated when I explain it to you, but I can assure you it's going to work like clockwork. The 25 dogs are going to be drawn into five groups, each of five. The five dogs will come in one group at a time. They will be judged by our three judges. And when we finish the individual assessment and extensive movement patterns, we will arrive at five winners from the five groups. These dogs will return to the ring, accompanied by the two other highest scoring dogs, which leaves us with seven competitors, from which the three judges will determine their first to seventh placing and then Mr. Bloxham and I will work like frenzied computers, hopefully to come up with a winner <coughs> and no ties. But watch this space. 
It's now my pleasure to introduce our two VIPs from Procter & Gamble. We have Judy Humphreys with us, who is the Managing Director of Yukonuba, who I'm sure you would like to welcome. And thank you for her Having just flown in from Geneva, would you please welcome Lars Watlieb, who is Procter and Gamble's Now you see you tapped before you got his full title, which is Procter and Gamble, External Relations Manager for Europe, Middle East and Asia. So there. Now I'm going to ask Judy first to pull out the first of the pink balls to see who will be the first member of the first group of five. Number 24. And that's number 24, which is the Japanese Shiba Inu champion ball Ferrari. Class, the second dog is number... 23. Number 23. I can't believe those were shaken up so vigorously earlier. That's the Bichon Frise champion Pamplona, bring me sunshine. Next in the first group is the English Springer Spaniel show champion Trimia Thriller, number 20. Number 19 is the Pomeranian champion, the Reba surfing the net. Well done, Judy. Right at the other end of the scale. Number seven, so that's the last of the first five, yeah? That's the Samoy champion, Van Dream Imperial Hermione by Berezniki. So does that give us the first five, Rob? Excellent. And then the first dog in the second group is number two which is the Afghan Hound, champion Rashid, Evan Hugo von Hausman at my house. Number 12. Number 12 is the St. Bernard, champion Chandimor, cover girl at Rosie Maney. Number 4, Number four comes next, that's the Larsa Apso, champion Zentar Elizabeth. Number eight joins that group, the Shih Tzu, champion Tamaron, Mr. Black, Excess. Number 14. Number 14. The English Springer Spaniel show champion, Trimia Tigra. Is that the completion of the second group? So the first dog in the third group. Number 17. It's the German Shepherd Dog, Champion Elmo von Hunegraaf. Next comes number 13. Next comes number 13, the West Highland White Terrier, Champion Lansmore Fitzwriting. Number 15 is the Smooth Coat Chihuahua, Champion and Portuguese Champion, Gibraltar Moses. Number 16. Next comes number 16, which is Pointer Show Champion Kiswahili Martin at Carnegie. Number 9. The English setter, show champion, Mary Glenn, Francesca Fenston. That's the last in that group. Number one. That's the Newfoundland champion, Hanning Field, such of magic. Comes next, that's the Basenji champion Takaji American Gigolo at Embo. Number 
And some of you, I'm sure, have already discovered that you do actually have blank pages for notes at the very end of your program if you want to make a note of the running order and what's going on, where and who. Next out comes number 10. The Border Collie Show Champion Tom Corey Lightning Strikes JD. Number 21 is the Bearded Collie Champion Sangala's Indiana Jones. Number 25 is the Great Dane Champion Mary Box Love Affair with Janrich. Champion Kazor's Make Way for Riley, the Dalmatian Champion Soft Spot Snap Crackle and Pop, the Dalmatian. Number 11, the Samoyed Champion Majestic Spirit over Kalinski. Number 18, Border Collie Australian Champion and Show Champion Denari De Beers. And finally, number 22, the Labrador Retriever, American, Canadian, and show champion, Salty Dog of Tampa Bay. So there we have the first part out of the way. That's the grouping, 25 dogs, 25 groups of five. Now the easels are going to disappear into the exhibitors area, so they can all find out what their competition is. Number 24 is the Japanese Shiba Inu champion, Ormond Ferrari. Ferrari is a two-year-old Shiba who qualified at Driffield where the judge was Peter Radley. Bred by Liz Dunhill, and owned by daughter Michaela in partnership with Gillian Knight Messenger. They come from Redford in Nottinghamshire. Ferrari has won six CCs and many reserves, nine times has been best to breed, and also picked up a group three when he was a junior. He is a special dog, I'm told, because being a Marnie son, that well, was obviously a very famous moment I'm Marnie, Jill actually awarded Marnie her very first CC when she was six months of age, and this is Jill's first champion Sheba. So she's obviously taking great pride in Ferrari's show career. So thank you very much to Ferrari, the Japanese Sheba. Champion Pamplona Bring Me Sunshine is the three-year-old Bichon male owned, bred, and handled by Michael Code, who qualified to be here today at Belfast under Patsy Hollings. They come from Preston in Lancashire. Eric has now won 40 challenge certificates, has been best breed on 46 occasions, twice of them at Crufts. He has three all breed bests in show and three all breed reserve. He was best in show at the UK Thai Dog has been best in show at five breed club championship shows, 20 group firsts, including the toy group at Crufts in 2011, and is presently in the lead for Dog of the Year for 2011. 
Thank you very much to Eric, to Richard Fouzet. Number 19 in your program is the Pomeranian Bunny. This is champion Le Rivers surfing the net. The four and a half year old Pomeranian who qualified at the August SKC show where the judge was David Rowe. He's owned by Don Cawthera and is being handled by breeder Avril Cawthera Purdy. He's won 25 CCs, 17 of them with best of breed, including best of breed at Crufts in 2010 where he was in the last seven in the toy group. He was second in the toy group at Midland Counties last year, has three times been group three and four times group four. He's been the breed leader, top pom, for 2009 and 2010. So thank you very much to Bunny the Pomeranian. Number 20 is another English Springer Spaniel, this time the male, James. This is show champion Trimere Thriller, who is now three years of age and who qualified at Birmingham National under Clive Davis. He is owned, bred, and is being handled by Anne Corbett, who also bred our other English Springer finalist this afternoon, and they still come from Nuneaton in Warwickshire. He's won 24 CCs, 21 of them with best to breed. He's been best in show at Bournemouth, He's won groups, has several group seconds, many group thirds and group fourth placings. Interestingly, he won his first CC from the puppy class and has now been the top English Springer for the last two years. So thank you very much to James, the English Springer Spaniel. This is champion Van Dream Imperial Hermione by Berezniki, who also holds her junior warrant and shows certificates of merit. She's now six years of age and qualified to be here today at Bath, where the judge was Martin Sanders. Bred by Andrea Kirkwood, she's owned and handled by Lisa Bobrovsky. And they come from Chobham in Surrey. She is actually the bitch breed record holder with 26 challenge certificates and 18 of those have been with best of breed. She also has eight reserves. She, she was reserved best in show at Crafts in 2008, which Lisa considers the highlight of her career, and also at the National Working and Pastoral Breeds in 2009 and the Working and Pastoral Breeds of Scotland in 2010. She's won eight groups, five group twos, one group three, and three group fours, as well as several breed club bests in show. She was the Northern Samoyed Society Samoyed of the Year winner in 2008 and 2009, and a Pet Pan Junior Stakes qualifier in 2006. And can you believe that she also loves Chinese food and sings along to police sirens and church bells to add to her many successes? 
Thank you very much, Hermione. Some way, please. So the five are lining up for our judges' final appraisal and if you recall, they are going to receive points up to 100 from each of the judges without conferring. Certificates, nine of them with best of breed and six reserves. Three times he's won best in show at breed club shows. He was a qualifier for the Pet Pound Junior Stakes in 2009 and was the top winning Shih Tzu male of 2010. Thank you very much to Arthur the Shih Tzu. Title of world winner in 2010. 
Not surprisingly, he's known at home as Rashid. He's now five years of age. He qualified at Boston, where the judge was Stephen Seymour. He was bred in Chile by Ramon Podesta and is owned and handled by Owen Griffin, who comes from Stony Burn in West Lothian. Rashid is the winner of 16 challenge certificates, 14 of them with best of breed, and 12 reserves. He won reserve best in show at Border Union, is a multiple hand group winner with several other group placements, and this is actually the third time that he's qualified for the Yukonuba Champion Stakes Final. Thank you very much to the Afghan Rashid. This is show champion Trimere Tigra. She's now seven years of age and qualified at Leeds where the judge was Ken Sinclair. She was bred by Anne Corbett and is owned and being handled by Anne's daughter Sarah. They come from Nuneaton in Warwickshire. She's the winner of 24 cc's, 22 of them with best of breed, she was best in show at the Welsh Kennel Club show a few years ago and reserve best in show at Richmond very recently. She's had three group firsts and many group placings, second, third and fourth, and was actually best veteran in show at Darlington. The English Springer Spaniel Pitch Roxy. Thank you very much. Number 12 is Treasure for Sinclair. This is champion Chandlymore, Papa Girl at Rosie Mamie. The St. Bernard who qualified at Windsor, where the judge was Jill Peak. And she's now six years and ten months of age. Bred by Tan and Anne-Marie Negresha. She's owned by Alison Granger in partnership with Tan Negresha, who's handling today. And she's come from Wissett in Suffolk. The winner of 17 cc's, 12 of them with best of breed and six reserves. She's had several breed club championship show, bests in show, and several group placings. She had actually retired in 2007 after gaining her title and finishing maternal duties. However, as the St. Bernard is one of the Kennel Club's high profile breeds, her owners decided to bring her out of retirement to show the world of dogs that St. Bernard's can tick all the boxes with longevity. That's your St. Bernard bitch pleasure. Thank you very much.
Dog number 13 is the West Highland White Terrier Alfie. Champion Lambsmore fits right in, is now four years of age and qualified at the East of England where the judge was Jack Watson. Bred by Sandra Sizemore, he's owned and is being handled by Angus Gordon who comes from West Hagley in the West Midlands. He's won 17 challenge certificates. 16 of them with best to breed, and 15 reserves. He was best in show at the LKA in 2009, has three times been best in show at breed club shows, was the joint top winner in his breed of 2009, and was actually the top Westie of 2010. Interestingly, he was third in the final of the Yukonuba Champion Stakes last year. Thank you very much to Alfie the Westie. Now we have number 15. This is Moses the Suiko Chihuahua. Moses obviously showing us what he thinks of the opposition. So this is champion Gibel Tariq Moses, who was actually bred in Gibraltar, but now divides his time between Gibraltar and Romilly near Stockport in Cheshire. He is three years of age. He qualified at Paynton, where the judge was Geoffrey Davis. He was bred by Josie Rukena in Gibraltar and is owned by Josie in partnership with Carol Davis. And he is being handled, as always, by Lawrence Jamas, who is Josie's granddaughter's husband. In this country, he's won seven CCs, one reserve, two of them with best of breed. And in 2010, he won the toy group at Blackpool and Ellis Hume. He also recently won the group and best in show at Estoril in Portugal. He's the grandson of champion Tachida's Master Angel, who was a Crofts Group winner in 2005, and his half brother to the same owners, Gibaltari Happy Go Lucky, who won the group at Crofts in 2008. So thank you very much to Moses, the smooth coach of our life. Dog number 17 is the German Shepherd dog, Rico. This is champion Elmo from Hunegrab. The five-year-old German Shepherd male who qualified at Bournemouth. He was bred in Germany by Heinz Scherer, is owned by John Cullen, and is being handled today by Steve Cox. He lives in Weymouth in Dorset. He's the winner of 13 challenge certificates, 18 group firsts, six group seconds, one group third. He's also won in his native Germany and was recently V1 and best in show at the British Seeger Show, where he also won the progeny groups 
and his, one of his daughters was actually selected as ninth in a class of 342. I will say that again, was selected ninth in a class of 342 at the 2011 German Sieger Show. So thank you very much to German Shepherd Dog, Rico. is the pointer male Martin. <laughs> this is show champion Kiswahili Martin at Carnix. A four and a half year old pointer who qualified at the National Gun Dog and a Gordon Harron. He was bred by Royston and Caroline Walkling, is owned by Heather Blackburn Bennett, and is being handled by Joanne Blackburn Bennett. They come from Hambleton in Lancashire. Martin has won 22 CCs, 13 of them with best of breed, and 11 reserves. He has seven group placings, including Group 1 at Windsor this year, and was the world winner of 2010. He's qualified for the Ukanuba Champion Stakes three years in a row. He was joint top pointer in 2008, top male in 2009, top pointer in 2010, and to date is top pointer in 2011, at just four and a half years of age. He is also proving himself to be a considerable sire with two of his daughters recently becoming champions. Thank you very much to Martin Pointer. Show champion Marie Glenn Francesca Fenston, who qualified at Jane Lilly at three counties. She's now four years and eight months of age. She's owned, bred, and handled by Jane Dennis from Burton on Trent in Staffordshire. She's the winner of 17 CCs, 11 of them with best of breed, and five reserves. She was Group 2 at Crafts in 2010. Group 4, Bath in 2008, was best in show at the English Setter Association Championship Show in 2010, best in show at the English Setter Society of Wales Championship Show in 2009, and also qualified for the Dog World Pro Plan Pup of the Year in 2007. She's actually the breed's youngest ever show champion, winning her title at the age of 16 months. She was the top winning English setter of 2008 and 2009, and in 2010, she reared 10 puppies, eight of which are consistent championship show winners. The English setter, Frankie.
Now we come to our second percentage. This is champion for Carnegie American Gigolo at Emerald.
and is also a team member of the Wakefield Dog Training Club Fryball team. She also does agility and is shortly about to start sheepdog training, so truly fit for function. Thank you very much, Megan. Number 21, we have the Bearded Collie, Champion Sangala's Indiana Jones, Indy. Champion Sangala's Indiana Jones, the Bearded Collie, is now four years and three months of age. He qualified at Richmond, where the judge was Paul Harding. He's owned and bred by Angela and Nick May, that Nick is handling, and they come from Wilmington in Bedfordshire. He's the winner of eight CCs, five of them with best of breed. He was best in show at Manchester this year, reserve best in show at Bath last year, it was Group 1 at Paynton in 2011 and Group 3 at the Working and Pastoral Breeds of Wales this year. Indy is the second generation of Singala's homebred champions and has recently sired his first list litter of puppies. So that's Indy, the bearded collie. Thank you very much. <laughs> Number 25, the Great Dane, Abby. Champion Mary Box, love affair with Jan Rich, is a three and a half year old Great Dane who qualified at the South Wales Kennel Association show under Betty Flavor. She's bred by Michael von Bruggenberg Rothschild, is owned by Rick, Jan, and Marie Day, and Charlie Fry, and Marie is handling, and they come from Cardiff. She's won nine CCs, five times best of breed at general championship shows. She's had two group twos, two group threes, was best in show at the Southwestern Great Dane Club Championship show, and is also a junior warrant winner. She had a very successful puppy career with numerous best puppy and best puppy in show, including the Dane of the Year at six months on the day and she also qualified for the Pet Plan Junior Stakes Final. So thank you very much to Abby, our 25th finalist. Final glance along the line before marking up the penultimate five.
American champion, Azor's make way for Riley. Riley is now five years of age and qualified at Manchester where the judge was Freedom Marshall. He was bred in California by Carol Webb, is owned by D. Hardy, Trish Hallam and Carol, and Trish Hallam is handling. They come from Grimsby in North East Lincolnshire. Riley is the winner of 16 CCs, 9 of them with best of breed and 14 reserves. He won Group 1 and Reserve Best in Show at Driffield in 2011, Group 2 and Reserve Best in Show at the Hound Association of Scotland in 2010, Group 2 at Darlington in 2009, and it also had Group 3 and Group 4 places. Riley was imported from California in 2008 with the specific purpose of being mated to his owner's imported pitch, a tricolor who I'm sure many of you remember seeing in many group successes. In their first litter of four puppies, all of them have won challenge certificates, including one champion who was also qualified to today's final. A repeat of that mating produced a CC winning puppy a Green Star winner in Ireland, two other reserve CC winners, and two puppies that have qualified for the Dog World Cup of the Year this year. And from the two other letters he's produced, he has two champions and other CC winners. So he's obviously been a very busy boy since he arrived. So thank you very much to number three, Masenji Riley. This is the Dalmatian Bitch Champion Soft Spot Snap Crackle and Pop. A four year old who qualified at the May Scottish Kennel Club show where she judged as Anne McDonald. She's owned, bred, and, was and is being handled by Jackie Christie, and they come from Perthshire in Scotland. Now the winner of nine challenge certificates and also nine reserves, six of those CCs being with Best of Breed. She was Best Puppy in Show at the Hoover Championship Show of 2007, Best Puppy in the Group at Birmingham National in 2008, she won Group 4 in Manchester in 2009, was Group 2 Windsor in 2010, and Group 2 at this year's Boston show. So that's your Dalmatian, Deva. Thank you very much. Number 11 is the Samoyed Male Woody. Champion Duxeg Majestic Spirit of Kalinski is now four years of age was bred by Jackie and Madeline Gooday, is owned by Sharon O'Dwyer, and is being handled by Barry O'Dwyer. And they come from Enfield in Middlesex. Woody qualified at Blackpool, where the judge was Jim Otterside. Now the winner of 21 CCs, 13 of them with best of breed, and 15 reserve. 
five times. He's been best in show at Breed Club Championship shows. Has won a Group 3, a Group 2, and Champion Stakes at both Paynton and Backpool. The Samoyed Male Women. Thank you very much. qualified at the Welsh Kennel Club where the judge was Tom Johnston. He's now won 23 cc's, 20 of them with best of breed, and 8 reserves. He was best in show at the East of England show this year, reserve best in show at Richmond last year, has won 5 groups, 3 group seconds, 3 group thirds, and 2 group fourths. He arrived in the UK in November 2008 when he was just 19 months of age and debuted with the Reserve CC at LKA in the same year. Subsequently, he has been the top border collie in 2009 and 2010 and presently leads in 2011. He was runner-up in the Canine Supporters Contest of Champions in 2010 and won the Border Collie of the Year contest in May of this year. So thank you very much to Border Collie Sylvester. Number 22 is Salty Labrador. This is show champion, American and Canadian champion, Salty Dog of Tampa Bay. He's a six-year-old male who qualified at Darlington, where the judge was Muriel Hathaway. He's owned and bred by Linda Hess in the USA, and is being handled by Anthony Allen, with whom he's now living. And they come from Yorkshire, but when he's back home in the US, he enjoys Florida. There could be a clue there. He's won three CCs in his short time in the UK, having just arrived in July, and on two occasions he's with one with the best of breed. He's also won numerous best of breeds in the USA. He's also won four all breeds best in show, He's won 41 sporting groups in the US with over 140 sporting group placements and he was also best of breed at Westminster in 2007 where the judge was Valerie Foss. He's qualified in the field having won his junior hunter title in June of this year. So thank you to Salty Labrador.
So our final quintet line up for their points. And almost immediately, all 25 will return to the ring to witness the final selection. of you who are going home and not going to the judges' houses. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, Ernie and Rob, would you like to take a position both ends of the ring because then we can line up the... Uh, no, 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 nothing like that. No, 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 no. Where are you going, Ernie? Sort of down here a little bit and then Rob up there? Like sort of... Imagine, you're, imagine you've got an imaginary washing line between you. Not that I imagine you do much washing, but... Um, right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call out the ring numbers of eight dogs. Eight dogs whose points have warranted them coming through for the final placing. And the order they're coming in will be numerical and has no bearings on the points awarded. Okay, first forward, could we have, please, number three, the Basenji. <laughs> number four, the Lhasa Apso. <laughs> number 13, the West Highland White Terrier. Number 16, the pointer. Number 17, the German Shepherd Dog. Number 21, the Bearded Collie. Number 22, the Labrador Retriever. And number 23, the Bichon Frise. And could I point out to all of you handlers before you leave the ring that these marvelous blown up photographs that Lisa Croft Elliott has done of your dogs, these are yours actually to keep. So make sure that after the show is completely over that you come along and if you so wish, and I'm sure you all will, you may take these photographs home with you as a memento of an unforgettable day. So thank you very much to the 17 dogs who are leaving the ring and congratulations on getting this far.
First in, the German Shepherd Dog. Followed by the Pointer. The Bearded Collie. The Labrador Retriever. The Basenji. The Bichon Frise. The West Highland White Terrier. And the Larsa Apso. What's going to happen now? Our judges will decide if they want to see anything move again. And when they're satisfied, they've seen all they need to see, they're going to place the dogs from one to eight. So once more around with the German Shepherd. The Pointer. The Bearded Collie. The Labrador Retriever. The Basenji. And the Bichon Frise. The West Highland White Terrier and the Larsa Apso. It's taken a lot of hard work, but I think you can all agree our judges have ended up with eight splendid dogs, and I'm sure now is when hairs need to be split. and you thought it was going to be easy. Those of you who come to Pet Plan on a regular basis know how much I love ties. Right, this is going to be very simple, and I'm not going to tell you for what place we've got a tie, but could we please ask the West Highland White and the Bearded Collie to step forward onto this side of the ring, and the three judges will have to vote for one or the other. It's as simple as that. Right, thank you very much, gentlemen. Please return to your position. <laughs> and now we have another tie. Could I ask the following three dogs to step forward onto the other side of the ring? The Basenji, the Labrador, and the Bichon.
Okay, thank you very much. Could you return to your original positions, please, whilst we announce the results? As we're not governed by Kennel Club regulations, we can announce them in reverse order <laughs> without being fined at the moment. In fifth place, we have the Bichon Frise. <laughs> Champion Pamplona, bring me sunshine with Michael Code. In fourth place, we have the Bearded Collie. Champion Sengala's Indiana Jones with Nick May. In third place, we have the West Highland White Terrier. Champion Lambsmore fits right in with Angus Gordon. <clears throat> in second place, we have the pointer. <laughs> Show champion Kiswahili Martin at Carnick. And the winner of the 2011 Yukonuba Champion Stakes Final is the Lhasa Apso <laughs> Champion Zentar Elizabeth with Margaret Anderson. Could I say thank you very much to the German Shepherd, the Labrador and the Basenji and thank you for contributing so much to the final. And could I now... Could I now ask Judy Humphreys on behalf of Yukonuba to make the presentations to our lucky winners and Margaret, I gather you're not passported and you're, you are? So Michael, is that a yes, I'm going to Florida kind of a kiss? That's a yes, I'm going to Florida kiss. Congratulations. to the Lhasa Apso and will be heading off to Orlando. Okay then, it's not over yet. Once more round the ring and then back to your placings. And well done, well done to all five of you on contributing to a splendid afternoon.
Well, I'm joined by the runner-up of the Yukonuba Champion Stakes Finals 2011. It's Joanne Blackburn Bennett with Martin the Pointer, who I believe is a bit like third time lucky for you here. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, third time lucky. Tell us a little bit about why is this third time lucky? Um, well, he's been here three times on the row and he's only four years old, so, and he's got runner-up, so. That's and it was really, really exciting at the end there because we weren't sure whether the actual winner had their passport or not. And he's got his passport, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got his passport. He's actually been shown on the continent. He's been to Paris. He's been to Denmark, to two world shows. So, you know, he's much travelled. So he wanted to go to America. <laughs> and so did I. <laughs> well, perhaps will you be trying again for the Champ Stakes next year? Of course. Definitely. Well, can many <laughs> congratulations to you and Martin. Incredible performance. Some lovely dogs here today. Oh, you must be well chuffed. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the quality. I mean, just to even get through. I mean, there's 25 absolutely stunning dogs. And to get second to another beautiful dog, which is one of my favourites, Elizabeth. So that's brilliant. Well, Joanne, congratulations and have a good dinner tonight. Thank you, I will, and a good drink. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So the winner of the Yukonuba Champion Stakes Finals 2011 was the Laza Atso champion Zentar Elizabeth. I'm now joined by the panel of three judges, Peggy, Graham and Valerie Foss. Now, thank you very much for joining us, guys. It was such a fabulous event to watch. How was it for you? And you're obviously not from over our parts, are you, Peggy? But just tell us a little bit about what you felt about the event. Oh, I thought it was a great event. It was very well organized. It, it really spotlighted each one of these fabulous dogs. They each had their turn. And it's such an honor just to be here, let alone to win it. So it was great. It was great fun for me to be here as an American and sending them off to Disneyland, or <laughs> Disney World, excuse me. Absolutely. Now, Graham, tell us about the system. This is obviously not a normal dog showing system. It's a point system. Do you think um, it reflected the final results really well? Certainly did, as far as I was concerned. Certainly, yes. And uh, I think that the, three the panel of the judges that we had, I think all, we're all of like minds. And uh, I think the lineup that we had at the end, I think, uh, displayed that, certainly. Now, Valerie, the, the, there was a couple of tie breaks at the end there as well. That was all rather exciting. Um, was there any dogs particularly that you were really, really fighting for at the end there? No, because we agreed again. I mean, funnily enough, the winners, we'd all marked highly right through. So that was very interesting that we thought the same, that um, you know they were the dogs that really took the eye on the day. Because like all judging, it's on the day because they all got great reputations but and of course for a big dog it's not always as easy to move in a venue like this but no it was really good and my thrill was seeing my Westminster best of breed again from 2007 the Labrador the Labrador yes yep and, and was it just exciting to see that again oh yes it was because I wondered what he looked like after all <laughs> those years because he's a veteran now and it's a great thrill that he's been made up in this country so yeah and uh, just tell us, Graham, your thoughts on this Lazarapso that's now going through to the World Challenge. I mean, an absolutely exquisite specimen of its breed. It takes your breath away. It really does. I, I'm honoured and I'm very proud to have that, that sort of dog representing the UK in, in America for us. And it was very exciting at the end there that we didn't actually know which one's got a passport or not, but actually that's going to go through to the World Challenge. Is that something that you've been to before? I've been there several times, yes. Unfortunately, I won't be there this year. I'm judging in Texas that weekend, but um, I'll probably silently be rooting for the dog from England oh. <laughs> instead of the American this year. <laughs> well, thank you so much, judges, for your opinions, and uh, it's been actually wonderful to have you here, and um, have a lovely night tonight. It was our Great to be a part of it. I'm now joined by the organiser of this fantastic event, Mike Bloxham. Now, Mike, this sort of event does take a long time to organise, isn't it? Because it's not just a, your average dog show. No, it does take us, well, we plan, well, we've had our first meeting to talk about 2012 already. So it's straight after the show, we sit down and just make notes of anything we've picked up from one show. So we try and make the next one better. Um, and it's, I would say it's a very much a team effort. I've got a great team who work with me, Julie Hersey, who, who keeps me under control and is a great, detail person and then there's Erica, Phil and Phil and they do a great job as well making it all so it's a big team effort that we do together. 
And it also attracts like the elite of the dog show exhibitors here, doesn't it? It does. I mean, you look at who's there. I think everybody who's everybody. And, and the nice thing is the record of the dogs that win our champion stakes usually go on to great success in, in Crufts or other shows as well. So, yeah, it's, the, it's definitely the top dogs. And the feedback from the judges is always, they, they, they say the, it's one of the hardest things they judge because the quality of the 25 dogs that are here are, are superb. And I think every dog today really performed to the best of its ability I think tough challenge for the judge to pick a winner out of that well we've got the lovely dinner and mm. dancing to come um, yep. what can we expect from tonight no no it's, it's all it's all switch off now so it's um, it's this is just a celebration of everything that's happened in a year we have some great people who, who support us up during the year um, whether they buy our food or they come and see us at shows or they're people like yourselves where we try to work with during the year and this is just a little way of you can Uber saying thanks to everybody have a few drinks they'll have a bit of a dance later on and it's just a bit of a celebration of all of us to have a good time because there's not many events where you can do that in the dog world now but this is one that we well we've booked it for next year so it will happen again next year well congratulations on a fantastic run event Thank so you. far and now you can let your hair down no, i've still got speeches to make so i've still got <laughs> one more task that's it thanks the Yukonuba Champion Stakes winner for 2011 was the Lazar Apso Champion Zentar Elizabeth. I'm delighted to be joined by Elizabeth's owner, Margaret Anderson, who's actually from just down the road, so you didn't have to come far to win mm. this amazing event. No. You were so surprised to win it, weren't you? I was absolutely astounded. You know, I can't believe it. I'm still on cloud nine and Elizabeth brings me down to earth because all she wanted when we went home is a dinner. <laughs> That's Elizabeth. I've shown today and I've done my best. Now it's my dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> now Elizabeth came fifth here last year and I know you were delighted with that. I was. But to, did you think or hope that you were going to win it today? Did you have any idea that you could do that? No, n not at all. I was just so um, sort of privileged really to be pulled out in the final eight and I thought well if we don't do no more than that I'm just thrilled to bits with that anyway and then there was the fifth and the fourth and the third and the second and I thought Elizabeth and I are going to be just walking out of here <laughs> <laughs> and then suddenly it was like X Factor you know, <laughs> the winner is big paws and what was absolutely amazing as well as at the end that we weren't sure whether your dog had the pet passport scheme so we didn't know whether actually you were going to be going to Florida and of course then they gave the nod that you were yeah. and of course everyone erupted didn't they yes that's right I mean I was asked when I came actually had she been passported and I said yes she had but um, it was in the hope you know that you may sort of a little tiny glimmer in the back of your head one day sort of do it but I can't believe it I'm still on cloud nine it's just I just keep hearing it saying and the winner is <laughs> <laughs> and I was thought he was going to say the German Shepherd or whatever was left you know <laughs> and he said the last rap so and it took about 30 milliseconds to go into my <laughs> head oh that's me <laughs> so margaret how are you going to prepare between now and december is there any extra grooming that you might have to do you know is she going to be out of coat by that time or not oh, no, or? no she doesn't go out of coat no she if anything she'll probably be in better coat because you've got your winter coat coming in so she'll probably she never goes out of coat she's got a fantastic coat she's just she's a she is a show girl. She loves it. Absolutely adores showing. Um, and her coat never goes off. She just, you know, as long as if the the bigger the occasion, the more she loves it. The more applause, and she thinks it's wonderful. You can see her going. Oh. <laughs> and even if it's not for her, she thinks it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, many congratulations, Thank Margaret. You. And we wish you the best of luck as the UK representative in the World Challenge I know. in December. <gasps> can't believe it. <laughs> well, we can't believe it either. The champion Zentar Elizabeth, the last APSO, will represent the UK in the Yukonuba World Challenge in Florida. We can't wait to see it. We'll see you there.